There they are. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, this morning's trading session, the uh, Wednesday, 19th September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, uh, interesting uh, morning today, folks. Again, we've got the uh, European markets pushing higher, even though we've got concerns regarding trade. It looks like China squeaked uh, in the face of um, its potential, uh, the opportunities it had to retaliate. <clears throat> it's talking about IP, it's talking about the opening up or uh, reducing red tape in terms of its exports, etc. It seems, certainly seems like it didn't match fire to fire. So, uh, But having said that, the latest news that it's uh, downgraded its uh, envoy. Okay, uh, I think the vice VP was supposed to go to the US. Now it's been downgraded just to a local chap. And that again is conceded to be bearish. Now, uh, really, it's risk on risk off in China, and it's very hard to interpret at the moment as well. I understand. Having said that, there's been a lot of other news as well in terms of European markets. Now, the uh, European uh, current account uh, numbers came in slightly weaker than expected, uh, from what I can see. Okay, uh, expectation was 22.4, came in at 21.3. So again, that's really weighing down the markets there. Also, with regards to Danske, Danske Bank, okay, potential fraud and, um, shall we say, money laundering activities going on there. Again, quite a big bank. Certainly is hurting the uh, the banking sector today. And also, in terms of UK, uh, inflation numbers coming stronger than expected, which in turn, obviously, is, is obviously raising expectations of an interest rate hike, which in turn, obviously, uh, creates uh, the uh, environment to be even more bearish given the fact that we've got this uh, uncertainty and political infighting with regards to the future of Brexit as well. So overall, net-net, the market certainly is uh, in a confused state. Uh, again, China trade war, ups the ante, Chinese retaliate, even though it wasn't exactly as significant uh, of a retaliation that they could have done, uh, which obviously led to the markets interpreting that as being bullish yesterday and hence the reason why we had a potential pop on the S&P and we're still seeing the S&P above 2,900. Whether that will last, again, is, is very short-lived. I'm certainly expecting the S&P to certainly flush hard uh, and lower. That's my expectation. But, again, it's a reality versus expectation and market reality at that. Okay, now in terms of the uh, technical pictures, in terms of fundamentals, I think I've covered them all. Mainly it's uh, all about um, the inflation numbers of the UK. We've got building permits, uh, current account data from the US. We do have Mr. Draghi speaking later on as well, so that should be interesting keep an eye out for that in terms of the german dax then so we're still struggling at this uh, key resistance zone we've certainly pushed higher uh, trying to match the us there in terms of the uh, strength uh, we do have this rising contracting wedge type pattern going into gap fill gap fill is seen around the 12 to 20 zone 12 to 10 so watch out there daily chart as well gap fill resistance looking for risk aversion so you are coming into resistance now for europe in terms of the french cac again double top failing to get above that 60 minute chart as well double top previous support equal resistance certainly pausing here and that daily chart is slamming into that 200 ma and it will approach that fib 61 percent retracement which again is a solid resistance zone in terms of FTSE 100 it certainly has been tricky with the FTSE i did manage to catch the ride higher for 23 but I tried to buy the dip on the breakout, and obviously that wasn't the case. The market certainly dipped on the back of that inflation reading. Now, if we did have a potential breakout, as you can see here, top and tail, the markets reversed quite sharply. I'm now expecting uh, 72.75 and 72.65 to play out, potentially even go down to 72.20 now, given the fact that we've got higher inflation numbers. Higher inflation obviously means higher rates. Higher rates is obviously negative for the FTSE 100, so bear that in mind as well. In terms of Euro stocks, again, like I said, weighed down, European equities weighed down a lot, to a large extent by a dance scam bank, the potential for fraud and the money laundering there. Resistance is seen at 3365, therefore we are looking for a potential move lower, and the uh, gap certainly has been closed. Uh, got we retraced there on 38 to 50%, and uh, we're retesting previous support equal resistance. And therefore looking for a move lower okay so again risk off okay so i think that's a good summation really of european indices certainly looking for that risk off down to uh, continue especially with regards to the s p now coming back up into that key resistance zone the dow is into resistance as well shanghai has bounced but that's more with regards to property 
the property stock certainly helping the Shanghai and obviously uh, the over oversold bounce as well. Okay, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Goodbye.